Well, good afternoon from Sunnyside, California, YouTube fam. This is Weston Scrivener, and it is grilling with a cup of water. Mmm. Oh, yeah. Good stuff. So, I just recently came back from an 18 mile or 19 mile backpack trek in the San Jacinto Mountain region. And that was dank. Loved it. Um, and today, I also just got back from a four mile walk with my mom at the safari park. So, things are popping. Now, let's check on what's actually grilling. Mm. We've got five pork chops. These three are seasoned with Jezebel. Fantastic. And these two, especially this thick boy, seasoned with um, Bad Byron's butt rub, if I remember correct. Now, let's look a little bit deeper to appreciate the beauty. Check it. Oh, yes. Oh, look at that. Mm. My goodness. Oh, the beauty, the splendor, the majesty. Look at it. Oh. Oh. Ah, oh, yeah. Don't they just look wonderful? So, as far as topics go, I thought I'd read a passage from one of the best summer buys I got um, is either last year or two years ago, but it's called the Bhagavad Gita or the Song of the Lord, which kind of reminds me of the Song of Solomon or the Canticle of Canticles, whichever you prefer to call it. Um, yeah, four dollars and fifty cents. Not bad. Love it. Um, so super duper one-on-one -on -one, one sort of thing um, just as there's a transition from uh, Judaism to Christianity so we say Judeo-Christian so we might think of it as Hindu to Buddhist with regard to where this book comes in um, I'd love it I have marked up just about every sentence in this book um, so without further ado let me just read this one tiny part of a fantastic collection of words this is the character Krishna talking to the character Arjuna and for those of you who don't know the story basically this huge um, kind of dialogue kind of platonic or sort um, but in the Eastern tradition happens in the middle of a battlefield in the middle of a war and it's just like time out we're gonna talk about these things I love it um, so here we go diving in on page 107 the character Krishna which we might think of as kind of like Christ in a way says I am ever present to those who have realized me in every creature. Seeing all life as my manifestation, they are never separated from me. They worship me in the hearts of all, and all their actions proceed from me. Wherever they may live, they abide in me. When a person responds to the joys and sorrows of others as if they were his own, he has attained the highest state of spiritual union couple things to unpack there but um, uh, one thing I wrote is wow so reminded of the Gospel of John and John chapters 1 through 3 in the shorter epistle um, but skipping past that since we have a uh, little bit of time um, let me just talk about a theme we can dig out from that one thing that's talked about so much in that book is closeness with God. 
And that's a particular theme that I love to meditate upon the more I walk in my religious, spiritual path. Um, just yesterday I was uh, watching this Richard Rohr video where he was talking about how it's more correct for us to say that we are a continuation of God than a creation per se. Because the idea that we tend to get is um, with a creation we tend to think of something as separate from the Creator. Um, but if we meditate on passages like, for example, Acts 17, where St. Paul talks to the philosophers at the Areopagus, he quotes uh, lots of different Greek people, for example, I think it was uh, Menander, um, when he kind of tweaks the quote uh, from saying, in Zeus we live and move and have our being, to in God, or in Deus we live and move and have our being, or in Theos. So, for sure, there's a perennial thought there to kind of uh, meditate upon. And if you think about that, um, while I can't say that to myself or to you that I can prove God scientifically or even logically, I can say that I have a deep conviction that there seems, or I would suspect there is a God beyond my talking about. Transcendent yet imminent, and that we are in God just like um, a sunken ship is in the ocean, or just as the entire ocean is kind of represented in a single drop. So we kind of are the uh, imago dei, or imaginist dei, the imaginations of God. So with that having been said, I don't know if it made any sense, but let's take one last look at these grilling things and notice how they are not separated from their created juices or the fire or the atmosphere around us. And maybe that's a, another good metaphor to end on. So with that having been said, may the force be with you and may the odds be ever in your favor. Your friendly Christian Judas Priest, Sanya. Love y'all.